Let's talk downstairs. Cozy as this place is, there's someone I'd like you to meet. We really went overboard with this place. Feel free to look around. Let me introduce you to Davenport. He's been helping me with some reconnaissance. Keeping an eye on Appalachia. Oh, so good to meet you. The Overseer has been so excited to see everyone again. Once you've acquainted yourself with our new arrivals, I may have some field work for you. I couldn't have pulled this place off without him. Let's talk.
It's good to see you, but we need to focus on the inoculation. Is it done? Good, because we're gonna need a lot more of it. Have you been to the mountains lately? It's not just us anymore. People from outside Appalachia are coming in. I snuck around two of the larger groups and saw them both building. Walls, housing, defensive positions. They're coming to stay. Each and every one of them is walking into a medical crisis they don't even know about. I don't know if you've been following the rumors, but there's something in the mountains. No one's managed to get into it yet, but one thing's for certain. It's a vault. I eavesdropped on some of the newcomers, and whatever is inside there has gone from speculative guesses to full-blown fantasy. Stories of untold riches would draw groups of people even before we turn the world into a wasteland. Hope and greed are powerful motivators. I don't want to lead us down the wrong track, but I've got my suspicions. The gold people are finding in the rivers can't be a coincidence. But first, we need to make sure the newcomers don't get infected. We can't rely on that old hospital holding out indefinitely. There's only one machine. It's a dangerous location. The list goes on. Judging by the architecture, the ones to the north are the old Raider Pals that crazy robot Rose keeps going on about. You might, uh, need to talk to her about them. See if she can arrange a meeting or, or whatever their word is for, we need to talk, don't shoot us. The ones to the south look more like a caravan of families, but who knows what they've been through. Don't let your guard down around either of them. Oh, yeah. I can't remember the official title. You'd think it'd be burned in my head with how many times I played that for everyone. The reality is a little different though, isn't it? Prepare for the future. <sighs> Do you think I like sending you into harm's way? I don't. But we have to lean on each other. I need you, all of you, to do your part. Anyway, I'm sure you must have other questions. We can talk about them now if you want. Or if you're ready to head out, just be careful out there. Oh, it's so good to see everyone again. I hope they helped. That's just it. I don't know. I thought they had let me into their plans, that we were special. But now I'm wondering if we were all just one big experiment to them. Just like everyone else. And... What happens once there's more nukes landing on Appalachia than she can take?
I know. You did what you were asked. A and so did I. But now we need to think for ourselves more. Build the America and the Appalachia we want. Pretty hypocritical for me, of all people, to take off on my own, huh? Oh. <laughs> At first, I was just racing ahead, hoping that if there was any trouble, I'd hit it first. And then there were the nukes, the scorched plague. Seeing my old neighborhood bombed to pieces, I, I needed time. Abandoned you? Do you have any idea how hard it was to walk out that vault door on my own? Knowing I might not see any of you ever again. Breaking vault tech protocol to leave behind my camp. The holotapes. The care packages. All with the vague hope that they might keep you all safe. I've never stopped being your overseer. Never. I grew up here. My parents used to live just down the hill. If there's one neighborhood I'm rebuilding first, it's this one. Sometimes I honestly thought they'd be the last things I'd get to say to everyone. Well, remember, it's not a scavenger hunt. I put them in place to help you on your way, even when I can't be there personally. <laughs> 